S1, January 27, question 2, normal distribution. You should always start these with a diagram to represent the information that has been given in the question. So we have a normal distribution. The mean is 1.68 and 13% of golf balls, so 13% have diameters greater than 1.73. The normal distribution tables always work with the larger area, so I'm interested in this area here for the table. So, and we use the notation phi. Phi of Z, whole thing must be 100%, would be 87%. And as our tables work in decimals, I know I'm looking for 0.87. So if I go to the normal distribution table, I'm trying to find 0 0.87 and I'm trying to find 0 0.87 in here because they are these are the areas. 0 0.886 is the closest I can get, which is... A, if I go to our normal distribution table, I'm looking for 0 0.87 in this section of the table because these are the areas. So I have 0 0.868, that's going to be the closest, and that's 1.12. Make sure you use your rulers. Um, we have 14 here, and if I add 14 onto that, it would give me the 86. It takes up to the 7. So, um, so that's 1.127. So our Z value is 1.127, and that has to equal the X value. Minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So the standard deviation will be 1.73 minus 1.68, 0.05, divided by 1.127. Gives me exactly 50 over 1,127. As a decimal, that is 0.04436. Which to three significant figures is 0.0444. So 20% of golf balls are not sold because their diameters are too short. So if I sketch my curve again, that means that that area has to be 20%. We always work with the larger area. So this time I'm looking for 80%. So I want phi of z to be 0.8. Again, it's an area, so I'm going to look within the table. And the closest that I have is 0 0.7995, which is 0 0.84. I would need to add 5 to that, and that isn't there. So I'm going to use the closest, which is, if 5 Z is 0 0.8, we're going to take Z to be 0 0.84. So I've got that Z is 0 0.842. We need to be careful here. We're working to the left of the graph, so that's actually a negative Z value. So negative 0 0.842 has to equal the X value minus the mean, which was 1.68, divided by the standard deviation. I got that to be 50 over 1127. I'm using the exact value. If you want to use a decimal, make sure you work to more than three significant figures. Rearranging that, I get an X value of 1.6426, which is 1.64 to three significant figures.